There are nearly 493 million smartphone users in India and smartphones have been strongly dictating the various aspects of our lives. Today we use the smartphone for everything. You book a cab, watching content on the go, food, tickets, every kind of thing smartphone. Now, a smartphone is probably the most easily available camera that you have on you. It's always with you, fits in the palm of your hand, does not require any fancy adjustments before taking a photo. You can click a photograph at a moment's notice and the quality is undoubtedly at par with some high-end cameras also. You didn't know that this technology would have advanced to the level that it would open up career avenues that were not even considered earlier. But thanks to digital development, you can now not only think about a career, in smartphone photography, remember I didn't say photography, a career in smartphone photography, but not only that, you can also teach smartphone photography to others, that's also now a career option. We all know that smartphone photography is now picking up pace all thanks to social media and online marketing. But did you know that smartphone photography is an art and one needs to be aware of the nuances of clicking the best images for all your needs. Teaching smartphone photography is an upcoming career opportunity that is now being explored by photography enthusiasts. How to effectively use the camera prowess of the smartphone, the various modes, the lenses, what settings to use for photos, for videos. These were meant solely for social media platforms and now have become an important aspect that one needs to keep in mind for all kind of photography. Smartphone photography teachers are also taking workshops to help content creators, bloggers, influencers on how to best use the smartphone camera to their advantage. We met Dhruv Prakash, a photographer who also teaches smartphone photography. Traditional forms of advertising and marketing have undergone a drastic change. The rise of the internet and smartphones has opened up newer avenues of marketing. Online marketing is the need of the hour. Getting the right image for your product is of utmost importance. The pace at which online marketing is growing, it is important for everyone to know how to get that perfect shot to market your product right. Meet Dhruv Prakash. He teaches smartphone photography to help people know how to click the best photographs for online marketing. Anything other than reels. Hi, I'm Dhruv Prakash. I'm a fashion photographer, filmmaker, and I teach smartphone photography for social media as well. Dhruv says that it was by chance that he got into teaching smartphone photography. An accidental meeting while he was on recce led him to take on teaching. A low angle shot? It's a funny story actually. I was in Goa, I was doing a filmmaking course and I'd gone for a location recce. Usually whenever I'm out taking uh, recce's like this, I usually only take my smartphone because it's, it's a great tool, it's good enough for every sort of image and video that I might need. So I was out there, I was taking photographs and a couple of people stopped me, tourists I'm assuming, to take a few photos for them. I did that, they really enjoyed what they saw and they took my number down. The next day, their son actually texted me and wanted to learn from me. And that was honestly my first smartphone photography class when I got back to Delhi and as word spread about my smartphone photography classes. Um, a lot of people reached out to me to teach them uh, photography for social media and marketing. So Cool Kanya reached out, reached out to me to teach smartphone photography and filmmaking on their online platform and honestly I feel that was my big break into this world. And from then on I've been working with corporates, social media marketing agencies and a lot of other online marketers to improve their media, to improve their social media, to make sure that they have people who can take pictures with just their smartphone. And you know, it makes life a lot easier because smartphones are lighter, they're easier to take around, and of course, the images on the smartphones are kind of pre-edited when you get to see them. With the rise of social media and online marketing, it is important to know how to market your product right. It all starts with taking the right image to tell your story. It is not just about making the image look nice. It is about getting the composition, the framing and the nuances spot on. It is also important that everyone knows the basics of smartphone photography. Taking a photograph is usually a very intuitive thing nowadays. You can influencers and people who ha actually have use for these smartphone cameras could benefit from a class in let's say composition or you know framing and things like that 
to elevate their elevate their game basically like it, it's very useful in marketing to know how uh, a photograph is composed and the impact it has on the people and the way that you want to put your message across through a photograph. Over the years, Instagram has become this really big thing and content creation is now giving opportunities to people from every field, no matter what your niche is. And as a designer, I really want to take advantage of that. So smartphone photography is kind of unnecessary at this point. As a smartphone photography teacher, there are some pointers that Roof tells his students to keep in mind while taking photos. He says that the phones these days come equipped with the required technology to make sure that the images and videos taken through the phone are of great quality. A few tips that I have for people shooting on the smartphone would be to, firstly to always have HDR switched on because that will always give you the best results for your photographs. Secondly, always tap and focus on your subject even though you may think your smartphone's focusing there it's always best to be doubly sure. Um, most phones these days have something called OIS, that is optical image stabilization. So, you know, you don't really have to worry that much about keeping it still. So, even if you want to do some action shots, go for them, even if, and your phone's really gonna shine through with the OIS. Uh, one more thing is burst mode, and your smartphone has the burst mode for a reason. Take as many photos as you want, and trust me, somewhere or the other, you will find that million dollar shot. Talking about the processor, Dhruv says, they play the most important role when it comes to phone photography. From processing the images to making sure that the different modes of the camera run smoothly, to shooting the images in high definition, it is the processor that supports all the features. The processors these days are so powerful that one can also edit the photos on the phone itself and does not need an additional device. But we have the ability to go and modify them as well. So the processor of the phone is literally the mind, body, heart and soul of it. We have relatively smaller sensors in the phones and it's these processors that are able to actually bring out the magic that these small sensors have. I mean, the processors are what give your phone the ability to match or, you know, nearly match a much larger sensor from a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. So I think they're probably the most important thing in photography for smartphones. As a fashion photographer and a smartphone photography teacher, Dhruv uses both a DSLR and a smartphone for clicking some stunning images. While the smartphone and the DSLR are quite at par when it comes to the quality of the images, Dhruv believes that there are some places where he thinks the phone can improve. Especially when you're talking about natural light or outdoors during the day, a smartphone is nearly there. It's, it does everything, nearly everything a DSLR or a mirrorless can do. But when it comes to night mode, we've got a lot of, what you call it, we've got a lot of AI and a lot of image processing, neural engines and stuff like that for the smartphone. But a DSLR does take the edge there. If you've been doing photography for a while or you're a newbie learning the ropes of how to take photos and videos for your social media and marketing needs, Dhruv has a piece of advice for you. Well, I have one simple advice, is to know the limits and to know the abilities of your device. Because with a clear head and a clear point of view, you can create content that can affect change in this world. It's a very powerful device in your hand and you can do literally anything with it. All you need is the right mindset and the right ideas behind them. Gone are the days when you needed to do an elaborate photo shoot to market your products. With the rise of the digital era and the exponential growth of online marketing, smartphones have become the go-to cameras for everyone. And it is with teachers like Dhruv who help you brush up your smartphone photography skills to get that million dollar shot. Now we had the opportunity to meet this teacher and know more about how he got into teaching smartphone photography to others. Welcome to the show, Dhruv. How did you think of fitting into this niche space of teaching smartphone photography, specifically smartphone? So I've been creating content on my DSLR and my mirrorless cameras. I've been shoot taking pictures, I've been, taking, I've been shooting videos. But of course, with the rise in social media marketing and internet marketing, and of course, with our smartphones becoming as powerful tools as they have now, there, has now, there is now a niche for people like me to come and teach people 
how to create the best images that they can through their smartphone. Wow, interesting. Okay, most pictures that we now see on social media are mainly shot on smartphone cameras. Where do you think people are getting it wrong? And you know, some people are getting it so wrong. So taking photos and shooting videos is a form of artistic expression. I don't think there's any right or wrong there, but I believe the way people are using their smartphones these days to create new perspectives, to create new angles, to improve transitions, and to make content way more interesting and they're experimenting with a lot of different things and that is something that they're doing right. Thank you so much Dhruv, this is wonderful, great speaking with you. Snapdragon is calling all you Selguru fans to join their global community called Snapdragon Insiders. Now this gives you access to the latest scoop on Snapdragon tech, a chance to connect with the experts behind the scenes, premium experiences, exclusive contests and so much more. I've been a Snapdragon Insider from the very beginning, you can become one too, by simply following Snapdragon on their Twitter or Instagram accounts which are right in front of you. Also you have a big chance to win a OnePlus smartphone by participating in the NDTV Snapdragon contest at ndtv.com slash unleash your dreams.